Hey guys, it's Angry Mom Claudia coming back at you with my weekend what sold over this President's Day weekend. So I came into Monday with over $300 in sales and that's pretty light for me. So I ended up, uh, since I didn't have to ship, I ended up spending the day sending offers to likers, sending offers to watchers, and trying to uh, list and share my closet as much as possible. So that really ended up in my Monday being very productive. And I ended up getting over 12 sales, 12 sales uh, out of it, which ended up uh, increasing my uh, my total sold to over $543.47. So let me show you what sold. Um, one of the first things that sold was this really great Lennox cross. I'm going to save like total stories. Yeah. And I'll let you know if I remember them and I'll share as much info, um, as I can get, but just for time wise and to keep this video not too, too long, I'll just, if I remember it, I'll say it. If not, you know, we'll go back towards the end and I'll, I'll try and give you a breakdown. Um, but this is a Lennox cross I picked up at my local and that's, and I picked it up for $4 and 50 cents on a sale day. I'm pretty surprised it hasn't sold previously because it's in pristine condition. It's really great and it didn't sell. So um, I went out on offer today for $21 and that's what it sold for. And I was really happy with that. It's been in the shop, it's been in the store like over almost a year, if not a year. So it's really time for it to go. Another one of the items that sold was this men's one a day. I got this from my Wholesale Ninjas um, boxes uh, purchase. I'll go over that another day, but this actually sold for $7.97. Um, and I had to pay shipping. That's what the competition does for health and beauty generally. So you kind of want to stick with that. So you get things moving on that end. And so I just did, you know, what they did and, um, it sold for $7.97. It'll like three dollars and 12 cents to ship or 20 cents to ship and you know make a little bit of profit there and i'll go over the wholesale ninjas purchase with you another day um but it should be coming up on the channel really soon so keep a watch back i did purchase um i did purchase a hundred uh item unit from them 100 units from them um and i give a pretty honest review about it and i'll show you the like actual unboxing of it at the time i had it, it was a couple months ago, but um, I did unbox at the time. I just didn't post the video, but I'll do that. And then I'll do like a summary of, uh, of it for you. And it'll give you a good unvarnished and unsponsored um, review of Wholesale Ninjas. So um, the next thing that sold was just these earbuds. I got them in a subscription box. Um, one of my subscription boxes, which is, which is um, like semi, semi personal. <laughs> so, and what I don't want, I put it here for, to be sold. So this just sold for $10 um, plus the pirate page shipping. So that was um, no big deal, but I still think they're a really good, um, good profit because this is pretty much nothing to me. I have previously sold items from pretty much every single box that I've um, that I've had because there's been some items that I don't, I, I won't or don't use. So I've made my money back already on the box generally. And the next thing that sold is just this little free people top. It's actually a kimono style crop top and it sold, um, I think it sold for $11. Again, it's been in my store for a pretty long time. I was really just ready to move it. Um, free people doesn't really sell really well for me. Um, I guess it's style based dependent. I, I suppose I'm not really sure. Um, a lot of the things that I picked up previously, um, cause I thought they would sell aren't really great sellers. Um, this actually came from a donation bin. So I really just wanted to give it a shot. Didn't really have anything into it and it sold for the $11 plus shipping on top. The next thing that sold was this Ooh Baby maternity uh, pants. Uh, it's really cute. Um, this was a, in a donation bin again. So I got, I got, I have nothing into this and it sold for $11 and the buyer pays the shipping. So no big deal. Great return. The next thing that sold was this little um, stand for an eye watch it's a it's an iphone watch whatever whatever they call it i can't like can't think about it right now but it was a personal item it was my husband's for many years and we just um i had upgraded him recently to a different um one that holds multiple so we just sold this seven dollars no big deal just selling a personal item the next item that sold was this jw top it's a tunic top it's really cute great material um it's a great size of an xl and i just kept it because i thought it was a great piece uh 
personally like it's a really cute top that a woman would wear very very flattering and the size was, was extra large and I had it up for like $28 or something like that and somebody offered me um $18 today and they paid the, sh the full shipping so I decided to take it because again you know some of the lower ends still do really well for me and you know $18 on a shirt that was donated to me and I have really nothing into it it came pretty much like this clean and um, from a bag that had been freshly laundered they just were done with the item so I picked up a donation this was in it and I had nothing into it I just sold something else how much how much fun is this Oh, I sold a pair of Can Can shorts just now. All right. The next item that's sold, and, and I anticipate that this is going to keep happening because I sent some really, really great offers. Those particular shorts are a, a pair of black cutoff Can Can shorts, um, and they were a great size, and I sent an offer for, uh, I believe it was $21, and they were originally $32 for a pair of cutoff shorts. So, all right. So I'm really happy about that. I sent out some really great offers just to move stuff. So this is a pair, this is a, a Daniel uh, Rain top. It's really cute. I had a lot of offers back and forth. It's a high low, if you can see it there. And um, a lot of people wanted it. They never really pulled the trigger. I just sent out an offer today for 12, uh, my profit would have been $12, so whatever that is. And the buyer paid the shipping, which was great. And I ended up making a little bit of money on it. Again, a donated item, no big deal to me. It's just great to get these pieces moving and make some money. So this piece just sold, and it's actually not in my totals, if I'm being super honest. I just did, I just realized my total. So I think this, again, I think this sold for like $18. Oh, there we go. Another pair of jeans sold. <laughs> so I'm going to get these all night long as people leave work and they come home. I'm going to get these and, I, you know, my totals are going to increase. So let me just finish what I did. So this is just a, um, a faux leather asymmetrical zip from Forever 21. If somebody tells you that they cannot sell or things don't move in their closet, um, I don't know what to tell you, but if it's a cute piece, if it's, this is on trend, if it is a trendy piece, it really doesn't matter where it comes from. What it matters is what you're going to sell it for. So if you're offering a fair price, I am pretty much selling this for just about retail, probably a little bit more than retail price, because I think these kind of go on sale. And I think you know, I'm making just about or a little bit over what the retail sale is. And which is really, really good for a mall bread and butter brand, you know? So there's that. Um, the next thing that's sold, let's go over to this side, um, is this Eiffel Tower here. It's a two-piece Eiffel Tower, five-foot um, Eiffel Tower from... Facebook Marketplace sale. I previously purchased this myself from Facebook Mar Facebook Marketplace four years ago for my daughter's Sweet 16. She had a beautiful Sweet 16 Parisian themed um, and we needed something that was eye-catching and, you know, really, really beautiful. And the crystals lighting up the night definitely went with her theme. So it was gorgeous. We used it. I paid $40 and I just recently sold it for $80 on Facebook Marketplace, which is such a huge win for us. Not only did we use it for my Jordan Suite 16, I doubled my money on it and the buyer paid the shipping to Texas, which is excellent. Um, we used it a couple of times, actually. We used it for the Suite 16, the brunch afterwards, and then we also used it for a school event where we had a uh, French-based food table and that was the centerpiece on the table so we have used it multiple times but since we're moving we have no long no more use for it and it's time to go so getting double my investment back pretty good deal all right the next thing that sold were these really great um these are a pair of uh Gore-Tex A6 these are called gel Fuji something Fuji Trabuca. Look at the tread on these. I have never seen a pair of Asics that have this good of a tread on them. These are definitely great hiking shoes, hiking um, 
trainers they call you know hiking trainers hiking sneakers um they have this really great duo max um, and then this grip is intense so and they're gore-tex which means you know they're water um resistant or repellent and they're really great at um for the for hikers so and oh the big one the last thing that's sold which is not actually the last thing that's sold today but it's the last thing i'm going to show you um let me see yeah i just wanted to make sure okay so this is the last thing that's sold that i'm going to show you that's sold so this is a jvc it's new it is a combo unit so it is a uh, cd player stereo and a cassette player and it goes into a car it's a brand new piece and the reason i know it's brand new although it didn't have the box is that it comes with every single wire to hook it up in a bag additionally it comes with the remote which is awesome and it even came with the receipt on how much the person paid for it and it comes with like all the manuals, including instruction manuals on how to install it, which is fantastic. So the receipt was in there. It was $249 and 80 some odd cents that the person paid for it. I priced it up at $225 and it did not sell. So it got priced, it got caught up in a sale that I was holding, a 30% off sale on my own, pretty much all my store, 500 items in my store. And... It ended up selling for $157.50. Now I got this for $7.50 and I believe it was in my Salvation Army, but it could have been at my Savers. Um, although I really don't think so because Savers doesn't do half off. And I know that this was up at $14 and I ended up getting it for $7.50. So really great uh, invest return on my investment, $7.50 into $157.50. I'm really, really super happy with that investment. I'm actually really happy with everything. Um, even the smaller sales that you saw tonight, the $7 and the $8 and the $10 and the $10 and the $21, $18 for this, um, this white top. None of those took me more than five minutes total to list, to sort, photograph, list, comp, store, and now pull. This is just gonna get put, folded and put into um, one of my poly bags and it's going to be sent out. Um, if I have five minutes into it total, I am okay with listing it for a lower amount. Anything higher than that, I really have to question my time. I'm not, I'm not in it for a $3 profit. So I definitely want to increase my profits and I'm doing that by picking up the stereo equipment. You've been seeing me pick up multiple stereo equipments and things that are higher value, including my palettes with the $100 sneakers. But sometimes those smaller sales churn on some bigger sales. So I've definitely been seeing it more in my closet, in my store, having those lower priced items. Sometimes that's what the people go for and they bundle a bunch of those up, which I've seen. Um, and I'm, I'm, I end up making great sales because of it. Um, again, I just made another um, $40 tonight, these other two items that sold. So I'm really super happy about it. And none of these items have taken me more than probably five minutes to list. So I'm super happy about that. Um, that's it for me for tonight, uh -huh. $543.47. Not a bad weekend for me. Obviously I'm still growing and building back after being gone for so long, but to be back in the 500s on a weekend is really super good for me and building back better in my store. Um, the listing that I did today, I know is going to carry me in through the weekend and the show into the weekend and all week long with sales because it is right now. So that's it for me for now. Be on the lookout for some of these um, reviews of the Wholesale Ninjas palettes that I purchased and some other video content on my future purchases um, because I'm going to be doing so many more um, as we gear on to switch the store from primarily clothing to more hard goods. So thanks so much for being with me tonight. I really hope you enjoyed the content. Like and subscribe and comment down below. I'm really trying to build this channel and show you like what it takes every single day, even when you feel like crap, um, that you have to get out there and kind of grind and do your own thing. And there's many ways that you can be helping your business, even if 
it's a freezing day as it was today. So hang out with me some more, like, subscribe, tune in, and check my channel out for updates. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.